Hey guys, welcome back to Bruce Art Homestead. We were tagged um, in a video collaboration by uh, Deer Park Farmstead and the Food Foresters, and I'll have their channel links in the description. Uh, this collaboration was started by the Wright Farms. Their uh, their channel will also be in the description. Uh, it's the five seeds that we're excited about uh, growing this this year. And we have we have lots, lots and lots and lots of stuff that we would love to grow this year that we have been growing that we want to grow again. Um, as a matter of fact, yesterday the the weather was so nice here we we actually went ahead and got some seeds in the ground. So uh, to get right into the list, uh, the first number one thing we have is okra. Um, I don't know if you've seen our other okra videos. I'll tag, I'll uh, place a card up in the corner there. Um, we, the okra that we grow is um, heirloom. Yeah. It's some that we've been collecting the seeds from year after year. Uh, came from several generations, um, all the way from Amy's grandparents, at least, yeah. possibly her great grandparents. Right. So. We're excited to to keep that tradition going uh, with the okra. And these are okra from 2017, but we did collect more seed from yeah. last year's. And we collected a bunch of these seeds too uh, that we want to, uh, those the seeds. We want to um, pack those up and bring them to the seed swap at Deep South in March. At so, the gathering. Yeah. At the gathering. So if, if you're uh, if you're going to that, look for us. If you're interested in getting some okra seeds, we we'll, uh, we can share this. So next, um, we talked about pollinating flower or pollinator flowers. That's flowers uh, <laughs> that we can include in the landscape in the gardens for. Well, some yeah, for, it's for our bees, but because um, we're going to be starting bees in the spring, but um, it's it, flowers, herbs. You know, um, pretty much anything that blooms that'll help the bees pollinate. That's a couple that we have on hand right here that we've picked. It's echinacea and borage. We also have uh, nasturtium in the plants and sunflowers. Yeah. And well, sunflowers, we have some actually coming up <laughs> yeah. from last year. Yeah, the sunflowers seem to be seeding themselves, which is awesome. Um, next we have lufa gourds. Last year, uh, these these seeds were given to us uh, by our daughter Cheyenne, and we grew some last year, but we put them in late. So yeah, they we got a couple of them off of there, we, but we um, did. They didn't do very well. But the bugs got to them. Yeah. The uh, the leaf footed they look like big stink bugs. They they got to them and was sucking the nectar out of the fruits, and it it just kind of it didn't make for a very clean loofah. So I yeah. didn't completely get them all ready to come in and use them because I wasn't really satisfied. <clears throat> so next we have Swiss chard. Uh, this is the seeds we have on hand, but we really prefer the rainbow chard yeah. just because it's, it's pretty. so much prettier. Yeah. It's yeah. really good though. You can use it in almost anything. We uh, we actually used some in like an egg scramble mm -hmm. and that was that was really good. We kind of I've put some in salad and like stuff spinach. too. Oh man, it's really good. Yeah. Yeah. And last but not least, cayenne pepper. These are these are some that we got from the uh, the nursery where Cheyenne works. And we just we're interested in growing our own peppers so that we can dry them and powder them and make our own make our own seasonings and spices yeah. and stuff, yeah. And cayenne pepper is well used here. <laughs> yeah, well it's well known all over. Yeah. It's cayenne pepper is red pepper. So um, well, that, that does it for the five seeds, but uh, we also wanted to mention that we're interested, or not interested, but really excited about um, expanding our elderberry patch, yep. uh, continuing to make our <clears throat> our elderberry syrup, which uh, is really good for the flu. Yep. Uh, it's, it's one of those holistic remedies. 
Um, the tomatoes, we don't grow tomatoes from seed. We grow tomatoes from Well, we're going to try plants. this year because I saved some seed from last year. That's true. I don't know if they're going to be viable, though, because what we grow is champion tomatoes, and I think they're a hybrid. Right. So we'll see with that. Um, stevia is another thing we had added to our uh, herb uh, bed last year. We and did uh, We did two plants last year, but only one of them survived. The one and, did, uh, and it did pretty good. It, it, yeah, it did really well. Um, we were able to collect, and um, we dried the, some of the leaves, and pow um, I powdered them. And uh, it's not really great in coffee. <laughs> no. No, because I don't, it doesn't, it doesn't, um, it doesn't incorporate into the coffee. Yeah, like, it like doesn't sugar does. mix well. It's like it kind of floats on top, and yeah. Yeah, so apparently we didn't do something right. So uh, if you know what we did wrong, help us out. Uh, <laughs> we're always open to suggestions. We love to learn from you guys too. Um, and our other two um, favorites, I guess, uh, turnips and and green beans. Turnips, I like turnips because. Um, they're a good potato substitute. Um, and in fact, uh, any of our friends who, who might be on a keto diet, turnips is a good alternative to potatoes. Yep. We've made... And they grow really easily. They grow a lot quicker. And um, we they grow better here for us um, because of our soil content. Um, because we have a lot of clay here after digging the pond and everything that... Um, Potatoes don't do really well. Right, right. <laughs> the turnips are helping to break break up the dirt, and as we amend it over yeah. the years, we'll we'll probably try to try to do some potatoes later. Right. But uh, right now, turnips is it. Yeah, we we have a raised bed, but we only have so much room in there, right. and we just filled it up with seeds yesterday. So I filled it. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um. So we need to tag three other channels, and the ones that we chose are Horticulture Geek. Mama Tried Homestead, and the Cajun Homesteader. And we're also going to put those links down in the description. So have a look at those guys. And I believe the Wright Farms, Travis over at the Wright Farms, is uh, is making a um, compilation um, list, uh, a, a playlist of uh, <clears throat> all of the different channels that are doing this 5C challenge. So have a look at them. And uh, we will see you next time. Have a great day.